We're visiting Yale today. We're not even touring, we're just kind of looking around. Uh, I didn't apply, so I guess we're here for Caleb. And we're going to the bookstore to buy books. So in the 1640s, a colonial clergyman, man, clergyman, wanted to start a school that like kind of embodied the European liberal traditional education in America. And so in the 1701 or something, Connecticut, the state got a, a charter budget to make a charter school. And they, they called it Yale after a guy named Yale. Look at all the ivy, hence Ivy League School. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's, that's why it's called Ivy. Huh? <laughs> reminds me of Cambridge, remember? We went to Cambridge. We went to England and we went to Cambridge. I don't remember. We should never bring you anywhere. <laughs> Waste your money. I think this is more prettier than Princeton. It is very pretty. I'd love to go here, but I don't want to study anything here. No, I was saying it's so unfortunate that she actually looks like that in real life. That's a mouth of a like 50 year old man. <laughs> what do you know? Evidently, this is the original Yale campus or something like that. They call it Old Yale. It's called Old Yale. Yale is so much cooler than you, Penn. What? You can't say that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't say that. Yale is just as cool as you've been. It's the same. Taste, you feel good. Just taste it. Seriously. <laughs> I have like four days until the Yale application deadline and I'm gonna get the application in in four days. <laughs> This quaint little house is the Yale Visitor Center, which is closed. Again. Again. Best time for tour. We walked in the opposite direction of the car to come to the Yale Visitor Center, which my dad said he was pretty sure is open. Main Google. Okay. This is the library. That's so cool. I would read all day if I got in here. Okay, you're gonna apply to here. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because two reasons. The logo is really pretty. <laughs> okay. And the buildings are beautiful. That's it? But I don't care what you learn here, you should just come. Okay. All right. Sound good. If you subscribe, you could float me to Yale <laughs> so I don't have to learn anything important and I can just come here. I get the wonderful privilege of driving three hours to Dartmouth. Yay! We 
pick the most loveliest day of the year to do a self-guided tour of Dartmouth, but we're gonna do it anyway. So this is the Dartmouth Green. I'm sure it's a little bit more uh, greener and more vibrant later. But this is kind of the central part of Dartmouth if you look at the map. I'll put a map on the screen. Everything kind of goes around here. And our first stop is over there, which is the Baker Berry Library. So that grand building is the Baker Berry Library, and then right next to it is the Rauner Library. This is kind of the main library and study area, and this one's more for like older books on the history of Dartmouth. That over there, that's the Rollins Chapel. And then this is what's called Dartmouth Row. So we have Wentworth Hall right there, Dartmouth Hall right there, and Thornton Hall right there. Not exactly the prettiest <laughs> bell chime thing I've heard, but it's still really nice to hear it. The Rauner Library right here is currently under construction, but like I said, it's where there's older books for the history of Dartmouth. And this is Baker Berry Library. It's the center for research and study, basically. Apparently it's where a lot of Dartmouth students spend a lot of their time. I definitely wouldn't mind spending a lot of time in there. It's beautiful. That's a chapel over there. Yeah, it's called the Rollins Chapel. It's so quaint. Dartmouth Hall. I don't actually know what goes on in there but I know it's the oldest building on campus and it's really pretty and it says 1784 on it. So that's the Wilson Hall, which according to ChatGPT is where the admissions office is. And then behind it is the Hood Museum of Art and right next to that is the Hopkins Center for the Arts and then next to that is the Hanover Inn. We were gonna actually stay here, but we decided we have nothing to do in this town. Yeah, there's not really... You know, I'm sure there's plenty to do here. Well, I don't <laughs> Evidently, the parents stay in the Hanover Inn whenever they come to visit the kids here. We're headed to the Bima or something. It's like an outdoor amphitheater kind of surrounded by trees. Dartmouth is the most conservative Ivy League and maybe the most conservative college in America. And I think it might be because it's so removed from everything. The drive here was like, there was nothing on the way here. Also, their, their Middle Eastern studies, uh, the Jewish and the, I don't know. The, yeah, they, they, they collaborate really well. And that's why the people here don't protest about that, which is really cool. And I think, I think it has to do with the location, maybe. There's so much nature around, and Dartmouth's thing is kind of being in tune with nature, and their whole Dartmouth outing club, the dock is, was made to encourage that kind of thing. And that could, maybe, maybe the transcendentalists knew what was going on because they thought that being in tune with nature was important to the well-being of the soul. And that could be why Dartmouth is the least crazy university in America. Maybe. Look at that little observatory thingy. Oh, I bet if the doors open, there's like a little telescope. You know what I'm saying? That might be the Bima. Bema? Bima? Oh, it is? Hey, I like your poetry. It's really good. You like it? Yeah. Where'd you come here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the Hopkins Center, the Hop, as it's called, houses galleries and artistic spaces and stuff for students and also for other people, I think. It's kind of, it's, they call it like a cultural hub and it's right next to the museum. Dartmouth coach. 
might be the only means of transportation. The nearest airport is called Lebanon Municipal Airport or something, and it only flies one airline out of it called Cape Air. And pretty much from anywhere, you just have to do a layover to get here is from there the airport. Any international airport? Or? I don't know, but the the Lebanon one is 12 minutes away if you drive. So I don't know. It seems you're like coming, you might. Not busy. Yeah, you might be. You're coming home. <laughs> That's the alumni center. Okay. Don't know what. That concludes the walking portion of the Dartmouth tour. <laughs> We saw pretty much everything. Just didn't go in anywhere. We're headed to the Dartmouth Canoe Club, which is a four minute drive from the green. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's gonna be cool because it's on the lake and it's foggy right now. So it'll look extra cool. So we didn't have as much time as we would have liked to tour Dartmouth because we went to Yale. Well, okay, there's seven, there's six minutes until the sun goes down. And that's because <laughs> We went to Yale and it was so pretty that we walked around for far too long. And so we got here and there was like 30 minutes to tour. Whoa. Whoa. But yeah, that doesn't mean I like Yale more <coughs> if you're watching this, Dartmouth. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's snow. There's snow. <laughs> Wait, White Christmas. Whoa, this is the most modern building on campus. It's like covered in fog right now, so you can't really see. Oh, you can go down there. They have a rowing club. I would so do that. Look at that. Whoa. Is that a gator? Not okay. Kinda looks like one now. Hmm. This is so cool. Now we're making the obligatory trip to the bookstore. What things can a college student do near Hanover, New Hampshire? That's your pity broke. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I'm not sure what it's from. Yeah, it doesn't know. <laughs> For outdoor enthusiasts, there are hiking and biking trails nearby, especially in the beautiful Appalachian Trail region. Mm -hmm. The Connecticut River also provides opportunities for kayaking or canoeing. In winter, skiing and snowboarding are popular in the nearby mountains. Additionally, Hanover has a variety of cafes, bookstores, and small shops for a more relaxed experience. If you're interested in socializing, there are often community events, live music, and festivals happening in the area. Would you like to know more about any specific type of activity? No. <laughs> it seems like it's just kind of small town life, but that's, that's kind of charming, maybe. This city, this little town is kind of charming. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. So I'm pretty sure Dartmouth has its own ski mountain. That's not too far from here, but I think it's like four runs. I definitely go there a lot. Geek culture. We, that's where we belong. Geek culture? Yeah. We're going up there. One more over here. All the games that are in the windows or on the tables here are free to play. We do free events every day. Yeah, we're leaving today, actually. Today? Okay, then I won't tell you the whole schedule for the week. Which make you sad. But make yourselves at home. If I can help with anything, just let me know. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, yo, I would come to Dartmouth just for this place. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Wait, this stuff is... There's so many cool games here. If you're in Hanover or near Dartmouth for any reason, fourth place, highly recommend. That place is so cool. I am a nerd. I think, I think this school and this town is like good if you like the small town kind of lifestyle. But if you're, I kind of like the city sort of thing. So I think if that's you, this place might be a little bit torturous. <laughs> well, not torturous, but you know. It's definitely, if you like small town stuff, this is like the peak of small town stuff. That made no sense. It does feel like a ski town, yeah, a I tiny saw, little ski town. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. But if you want to be in a ski town for four years, yeah. <laughs> I got this little this little postcard. It has nothing on it. But...
Is that how the snowman looks like you? Okay, alright. I've never seen anything like this in a hotel room before. Watch this. <laughs> it's not like a bear. 